Yes, friends, I'm holding the actual first copy of the Vibrant Caribbean, but I do apologize for the lighting. Um, the first copy of the book is here, and you're going to see there's a lot of tabs and stuff like that. Those are just edits I'm working on as we speak. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. I'm just about to film a, a new recipe, which is going to be shared on Tuesday, but I wanted to take you guys behind the scenes. I'm doing a behind the scenes thing. Well, you think it's e-talk alone have <laughs> behind the scenes? I have behind the scenes too. This is the little setup, and I've had a few people email and ask me, Chris, how do you go about filming one of these videos here that you do? I'm just going to quickly go through it with you guys, and I'm going to touch on something on that book in a second as well too. So basically today I'm doing, and this is the video you're going to see on Tuesday, I'm doing something with cauliflower and chickpeas. The chickpeas is straight out of a can. And this is my sort of staging area here. So if you go to CaribbeanPod.com and you watch the videos, this is where it all begins kind of thing. I go overhead, I take some still shots, and then I start prepping everything. So for instance, I'll have to chop up that onion, the garlic, the parsley, and all that stuff like that. Over here, I usually go downstairs. I have a, quite a few pots I use. This one I'm using a non-stick pot because when I'm cooking curry, curry tends to absorb quite a bit of the vegetable oil. I'm trying to cut back uh, on the amount of oil I'm using, so I usually go with a non-stick pot. The sink usually have the remnants of whatever I'm cooking, so pretty soon you're going to see pieces of that cauliflower and stuff in there. I already peeled the garlic, so it tends to be quite messy. And remember, you're going to see <laughs> Mr. Dutchie here in the drainer. This is a regularly functioning home family kitchen. My boy Scotch bonnets all here, you know. Behind there's some mess. I try to tuck things behind here. Because if you notice, you'll always see me talking down from my like, holding camera from here. And I'm usually over here talking. So I try to hide as much as I can. So everything is set up there. Over here is where I try to hide everything behind, behind the scenes. I've got my cameras all set up. These are for the still shots. Usually I write out the recipe, so I have a plan of action, and all of this takes, you won't believe it, it takes almost a day to put together an entire recipe. I have the tripod all set up here with my lighting, the lights are all off, so pretty much you would get the view from here when you're watching my videos. This is pretty much the setup. Um, again, this is a family functioning kitchen, it's not a professional kitchen. Everything happens in here. Quickly, one more thing. You'll see this candle, this scented candle burning here. When I'm doing curry, and curry is notorious for remaining in the house, the smell of curry, as well as in our clothes. When I'm filming, I cannot use the overhead fan here because it makes too much noise. So which means all that smell, all the scent, and I'm gonna say it is beautiful, but after a day or two and you get it on your clothes, you really don't want that happening. With the fan off, I usually burn a candle or two, so there's my little tip, burn a candle if you're trying to get rid of, even when you're stewing or frying or anything like that, especially fish, you want to burn that candle. So Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com, I hope you guys enjoyed the little behind the scenes. It does take a lot of work because I have to write the recipe out, put it on here. I've got to plan how I'm going to film it because remember, I'm a one-man show. During filming here, I've got to stop, start, and... Uh, and go on stopping occasionally to take still shots remember the stove and the fire doesn't wait for me so it's got to be everything's got to be and this is why I have my cameras usually the cameras are closer to the action back to the book now guys if you want to get in this is gonna be I mean I'm quite proud of the work that we did and you guys hmm just look at the pictures it is outstanding. You're getting so you're getting two behind the scenes right now. You're getting a view, the first view of the actual cookbook, as well as behind the scenes. In the description below, I'm gonna have a link there for you guys to click if you want to pre-order this book. For those of you who have who have already pre-ordered, you guys are gonna hey, you're gonna be loving it when you get it. Trust me on this one. The team that helped me put this together, guys, you guys did an awesome job. We're on the final stages here. It's off to the printers right now due to ship in May. So if you've already purchased the book, thank you very much for supporting this. The book is due to be shipped in May. It will be on time. By, according to my mom, by the hook or the crook, it will get done. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, down below. Click on that link to get the book. You guys are going to love it. Have a good one.